Welcome to the seafood capital of the Philippines, the province of Capiz. The province of Capiz is located in the central section of Western Visayas region. It is located at the northeast portion of Panay Island, bordering Aklan to the north, Antique to the west, and Iloilo to the south. Capiz faces the Sibuyan Sea to the north. Capiz is known for the Placuna Placenta oyster shell that has the same name locally and is used for decoration and making lampshades, trays, window, and doors. Likewise, the province is also known as the seafood capital of the Philippines and was among the top 15 most frequently visited provinces in the Philippines. Kapisnan is an Austronesian regional language spoken in the Western Visayas region. Kapisnan is concentrated in the province of Kapis in the northeast of Panay Island. It is a member of the Visayan language family and the people are part of the wider Visayan ethnolinguistic group. Kapis is one of the provinces of the Philippines situated in the Panay Island bestowed with enchanting tourist spots. It may be surrounded with more prominent and renowned tourist attractions of the nearby provinces. Capiz has its own natural beauty worth visiting. Now let's go to some of their tourist attractions. The first one is the Bye Bye Beach. Bye Bye Beach is one of the best tourist spots in Capiz which is a favorite weekend destination among locals and foreign travelers. The beach features a 7-kilometer-long stretch of soft black sand and calm sea water facing the Sibuyan Sea. It is a great spot for swimming, snorkeling, and kayaking. Fascinating sunset is also best viewed here. The next stop is Palina Greenbelt Eco Park. Palina Greenbelt Eco Park is one of the most known tourist spots in Capiz that offers a relaxing and satisfying river cruise. Tourists will aboard a floating restaurant which is made of an impa hat with tables and benches perv on a bamboo raft while being pulled by a motorboat for a river cruise down the placid Palina River. Next stop is the Mantalinga Island. Few kilometers of the coast of Bay Bay Beach is another popular tourist attraction called Mantalinga Island. The Department of Tourism named it a good luck island for it is believed to bring good fortune for the local fisher folk. Next is the Suhot Cave and Spring. It is one of the most famous tourist spots in Capiz, which is a favorite destination among the locals. On site are open huts facing the developed spring pools, wherein the cold and natural spring are coming out from the rock on the cave. Next one is the Rojas City Plaza. The Rojas City Plaza is one of the most accessible tourist destinations in Capiz, where historical and prominent landmarks and structures are located. The Rojas City Bridge is an iconic landmark in the plaza, built in 1990, which crosses Panay River. The Immaculate Conception Metropolitan Cathedral has a beautiful facade that drew crowds' attention, which was built on 1877. The Roa City Bandstand, which is an octagonal pavilion with neoclassical style, is another prominent structure of the plaza. Now let's go to their festivals. The first one is Sinadya Halaran Festival. Sinadya Halaran Festival is a jovial celebration of Thanksgiving and sharing of these blessings that took forms of programs and activities that depicts oneness of Kapisnon with his divine source of blessings, with the blessings themselves and with the whole humankind. Yeah. 
The next festival is Kapistahan. Kapistahan is a cultural and food festival, founding anniversary and memorial celebration in the province of Capiz in the islands of Panay. It is a gathering of a cultural festivals of the constituent localities of the province, a celebration of its cultural heritage and an affair that aims to boost tourism. some food and delicacies of the province of Capiz. Tiger prone dishes, native crab dishes, paella mistra, minusugna lucos, diwal pasta, puyoy, and adobong taklong. <laughs>